Hi, eighth grade. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to start outlining a basic set of eyes. I'm going to split the eyes into two separate parts. Um, the shading part is probably the more tricky part about creating an eye. So today I'm just going to get you started with um, just the basic outlines. We will worry about the shading in another video. Um, what I'm doing right here on my paper is I am marking these little dash lines and I'm trying to evenly space them. And what I'm doing here is I'm establishing where I'm going to put my left eye. I'm going to establish where I'm going to put my right eye. And then of course, I'm gonna leave a space between the eyes <clears throat> to denote where the bridge of the nose or the top part of the nose would go on a human face. The space between the two eyes is exactly one eye's width. So the biggest mistake is some people will move their eyes really far apart or some people will put their eyes too close together and you end up with something that looks not very true to real life. So these faint little lines are going to be erased at the end. They are just here as a guide for now. When you start drawing eyes, I recommend um, picking an eye to start with and then going back to the other eye and doing the same thing to the other eye uh, piece by piece. If you save the whole eye and try to come back and do the left eye all at once, it's just a lot more tricky. So what I'm doing here is I'm just ever so carefully mapping out just a basic eye shape. I can tweak it more as I go along. You can see the corner of the tear duct tears meeting up with that line in the outer corner is doing it as well. Once I've established a shape that I'm happy with, I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Now the absolute hardest part about eyes is trying to get them to both match. I can already tell these are not perfect. Appears like this one's a little bit more open. Maybe I'll bring this one up just a little bit higher. I'm drawing as lightly as I can. I can always come back and darken things up if I need to. It's very difficult to erase super dark lines though, so I'm gonna save that. Okay, I'm feeling pretty okay with that. I can adjust it more as we go along. If that bothers me, I can fix it later on. Um, what I want to do now with my eyes is I want to show the crease that forms above the eye. Not everybody has an eye crease, but um, most people do have a visible crease. So I'm going to show an eye here that has a crease right above it. Now some people's crease starts above the tear duct and curves right along. My eye, the crease starts right down in the middle. It angles up and it curves outward with the eye. You might have a crease that's more straight across. You might have a crease that actually falls right along the lash line and it might not be very visible at all and that's normal. Um, but for now I'm going to stick with an eye that resembles my own. I don't have a mirror in front of me because I have a camera in front of my face so I'm going to do the best from memory. If you're somebody who wears makeup you probably have a pretty good grasp on your eye shape, especially if you like to use um, like eyeliner or contouring. You might have a better idea of the layout of your face just because you probably pay more attention to it. So I'm, I can even those out as I go. This crease came out a little bit too far. So that's going to show where the crease is. Um, it might be helpful for me also while I'm here just to gently figure out where I want to put eyebrows when those come into play. My eyebrow comes straight up here from the corner and it comes out at a 45 degree angle from the other side. And I'm just going to do a light outline. Just so that I kind of have an idea of where this is headed. All right, they're not perfect, but it'll work for now. Okay, so we have an eyeball, we have a crease, we have eyebrows, which I will definitely have to go out and balance out later. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a circle stencil. We have a collection of these in our stencil drawer. These are going to help us make perfectly circular irises, and the iris is the colored part of your eye. So if you are a brown-eyed person, you are going to have a brown iris. I happen to have blue eyes, so my irises are blue. 
And what I'm doing here with my circle stencil is I'm finding a circle that is the right size. I want the iris to just barely touch the bottom lid and I want it to just ever so gently tuck up into the upper lid. Sometimes kids will draw, I'll do a quick sketch, sometimes kids will create an eye that looks like this and then they put their iris floating right in the middle and then a pupil right inside and it looks like a really shocked cartoon eye. That's not what we're going for. We're going for as close to realism as we can get. So I'm gonna look for an iris that will work. Too small, that should be perfect. And I'm gonna do this lightly. And I wanna use the same one on the other eye so that they match. And you can see here what I've done is I've created an iris that just barely touches the bottom lid. And if you can imagine, it would just ever so gently tuck right up into the upper lid. Now, you get to have a little fun playing around with a pupil that works for you. I tend to have really small pupils. My eyes are really light sensitive, so they the pupils close off whenever I'm around light. So I think I'm gonna use this circle right here. And you wanna get that pupil right in the dead center of that iris. I'm gonna do this lightly. And I'm not gonna go all the way around, and I'll explain why in just a second. the center. I'm kind of giving it a crescent shape right now. What I want to do is I want to leave a little gap where I can include a little light reflection on my eye. Our eyes have tears over the surface which creates a um, reflective surface on the eye. So I'm going to use one of these circle stencils, a really small one I think. Maybe even smaller than that. And I'm going to just draw a little circular. Is that the one I used? A circular spot that's going to represent a light reflection on the eye. So this looks a little funny for right now, but when we get to shading, we're definitely going to want to have this white spot where we it looks like we have a reflection on the eye. Now, if you imagine the light coming from the upper right hand side, that is why I put the light reflection on the upper right hand side. Um, once I'm pretty well established, with these eyes, I think these are looking pretty good. I can come back and get rid of those little guidelines that I put in originally. I no longer need them. Ooh, I can see the circle stencil left some smudges on there. I'm gonna try to get rid of those. And there, I feel pretty good about that. Um, I'm gonna come in on another video to show you how to add shadow to these. But for right now, that's looking pretty good. You'll notice I did not add any eyelashes. The eyelashes will become a finishing touch. So um, stay tuned. We will check out the next video um, shortly and give you some ideas for some shadows. Thanks for watching, guys.